Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new 2023 Entrada 2900DS Class C motorhome by East to West RV. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this, and then we'll close it up at the end and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Entrada 2900 DS Class C motorhome here. We're going to start back here in the rear of the RV and then kind of work our way back forward. So in the rear of the RV is basically your master bedroom area. So over here we have a bed that is actually part of a slide out. So you have queen size bed. The bed will raise up. There is storage underneath of there. The slide out is a 12 volt slide. We'll close that up for you here when we get to the end of the video, show you what it's all about. But basically you push a button, slide goes in and out. There's window on each side of the bed. Those open. You also have overhead cabinet space above the bed. There is an electric outlet and USB charger ports down there. Light switch for some of the overhead lights. You have four full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers down below, electric outlet and a heat duct right there. Then looking up, we have the closet area. So you have a closet on each side and you also have some shelf space. There's some USB charger ports there, electric outlet and a cable outlet. So you can do a TV there as well. Looking up at the ceiling, you have one of your two ACs right here. There is a pull across accordion door to block the bedroom off from the bathroom or living room area. Now on the right side here is the shower. So you have step in shower, there's a little heat duct down below, pull across little vinyl kind of curtain deal skylight up above now when you're in here to take a shower your bathroom door actually swings around it's got a little magnetic connector that basically kind of acts as a privacy wall so you can come in here take a shower and not be bothered ABS tub surround, skylight again up above. Get myself spun around here again. While the door is open here, you have your toilet area. So you have porcelain foot flush toilet. There is some storage space below the sink area. Decent amount of counter space as well mirror on the wall and then a big kind of medicine cabinet back here as well roof vent and fan back here going on up into the kitchen living room area up here so you have Little pantry area on the right. 12 volt ever chill, 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator also. Little drawer space below that. Furnace return down below. Then over here you have your Greystone convection microwave. So you can cook or microwave either one. And then it has a three burner gas stove top also. Flip down glass lid to give you a little more counter space if you're not cooking. Some more overhead cabinet space. Large turbo exhaust fan up here to help exhaust out any smoke and stuff from cooking or just move some air on a good night. Over here you have U-shape dinette. 
This U-shaped dinette will make into a bed, and it also has two large drawers that pull out, giving you more storage space. There are also two seat belts built into this section right here. Big windows overlooking the back side of the RV. You have some overhead cabinet space above your sofa. There are two seat belts for the sofa area. And this sofa will flip down and make into a small bed as well. A little bit of space underneath of there. And back in behind here, you also have kind of a little ledge area here with a couple cup holders. On the bottom of the cabinet, there's some USB charger ports. On the one side of the dinette, there's some more USB charger ports and an electric outlet down there also. You have a couple speakers in here, another air conditioner in here as well. While we're looking up at the ceiling, this is pre-prepped for Wi-Fi. There's a gateway connect you can buy and tie into here and subscribe to say Verizon or AT&T and get some Wi-Fi that way. It has the WineGuard 360 Plus TV antenna system on it, which helps pick up Wi-Fi uh, if you subscribe to it and add the connectivity part to it. So down here we have some more drawer space, little sponge holder thing there on the right. And also through that little sponge holder section, you can flip that down if you remove the little sponge holder part and reach in there for your winterization bypasses on your water heater. There's an electric box over here with breakers and fuses. Large undermount sink here, high rise sprayer faucet window here does open as well. Decent amount of counter space here. Then just kind of looking up at the bottom of the cabinet there, there's two electric outlets. You have the Jensen TV here, and this TV will actually swing open. And there's a pretty large area back here as well. Over here, you have your Furion stereo system. Then you have a little bit of storage space here and part of your TV controls. Just down below here is, if you do the auto level jack system and the optional solar, you'll have your auto level jack control here the optional solar charge controller here as well. And below that is a light switch, battery disconnect, and your power awning button. So you got a few things down here, kind of depending on how you order the RV. In the step area down here, the top step will flip up and that's where your batteries are at. Now, if you do the solar system, you'll get two batteries. If you don't do that, you just get one house battery. So you got an engine battery, and then you also have a house battery. Again, solar will give you a second house battery. Little ladder here to get you up to that top loft area there. Up here, you have a little cubby area up here, along with some USB charger ports, little cup holders and stuff window does open. This little rolled up curtain thing here is to go around the cab area for privacy. Then you have a pull across curtain to give the loft area some privacy. You can see here another window does open. One of the cushions that you'll get if you do the swivel driver or passenger seat these are the little booster cushions. A 
But overall, really nice, pretty roomy Class C motorhome here. All right, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of this motorhome, and then we're gonna come back in and close it up. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we're back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Entrada 2900 DS motorhome here. We're gonna start here on the door side, kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior, which is attached to the Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luon backer. So it's much less likely to have delamination issues. That's a good improvement for fiberglass RVs. You have deep tent safety glass windows, power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. You have a traditional RV entry door and screen door. Step comes down nice and low. Does have a window in the door. Pretty good size grab handle there to help get you in and out of the RV. You'll also notice your model number as you're out shopping around looking, usually located right next to the entry door. And then just down below, a little advertisement sticker there talking about that Asdale. You have two good sized storage compartments here on this side right in this section here. The doors flip down as you can obviously see there. Six gallon gas and electric water heater. Flipping the door open here, you can see inch and a sixteenth drain plug in the bottom. You have the electric switch to turn it on electric in the lower left corner. And then you also have your pressure relief valve in the top center there. Make sure you relieve the pressure before you try to drain it. Down below you have your propane tank. It's built in onboard propane tank, which you usually find in motorhomes. So you do have to drive it somewhere to have it filled. Just up above that, you have electric outlet and a cable outlet. So you could plug in a TV out here under your awning if you wanted to. And you have your furnace exhaust out here also. The awning nice and big covers most of the side of the RV here. Another storage compartment down below here. And then up here you have your gravity fill fresh water tank fill right here. So you're basically gonna stick your hose in the hole there and let it fill up. You can check the monitor panel inside to see how full it's getting. Exhaust out right down here for your engine just behind the wheels. And then there is a waste handle down here that you can pull when you're doing your dumping and everything. Now, while we're looking down here, you can also see the rear auto level jacks. There's also a couple in the front. That's an option to have when you're ordering the Entrada. Um, a lot of people do like on these larger ones to have those auto level jack systems. Going on around to the rear end here, you have a traditional flat back rear end. LED running lights as well on the back side here. There's four inch squared two bumper. Just down below that on the right side, you have a gas line hookup so you could plug in a portable grill. And then you have your two inch hitch receiver here as well with a seven way wired up plug. Now it doesn't have a brake controller, so if you're towing something with electric brakes, you'd have to do that part aftermarket. But it does have a traditional seven-way Bargman plug there, which gets you your running lights and ground. <clears throat> Looking up top here, you can see a couple pictures of the roof we're gonna pop up here. This unit has dual ACs on it, solar panel option that they ordered on this particular unit. You have the WineGuard 360 Plus uh, antenna system up there, which you could aftermarket do a Wi-Fi connectivity to. A few little odds and end things up there that you do got to get up there from time to time, inspect the seams and seals and stuff, make sure everything's okay. On the rear in the top center here, you also have a rear observation camera so you can see what's going on behind you. On your slide outs here, it comes standard with slide out awning toppers. 
So those are basically awnings that roll in and out with the slides as they go in and out. Helps shade the room, repel water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that. Just kind of helps, keeps the top of your room clean. Detachable power cord here. This is 50 amp electric service. And the cord stretching out is probably 25 or 30 feet long, roughly. Decent amount of storage here. This again went underneath the master bed. And then you have a little bit of storage under that as well. Now down below here is also your dump area. So you're gonna hook your dump hose up here, pull your handles and run everything out. So it's best to pull your black first to get all the nasty out, then pull your gray to help rinse out those hoses. Next to your power cord plug in there, you have a cable satellite inlet. Then we have our gas fill up for the motor. And we also have a black tank flush for your bathroom and city water inlet for your fresh water. There's also a light up there in between the slides. So if you are out here at night trying to do some of this stuff, you can have some light on the uh, area. You have a pretty good size longer storage compartment down here. Then a little bit smaller one just in front of that. And then just in front of that, you have your generator compartment right there. And this has a 5,500 watt gasoline generator. And you also have a manual pull start or a keychain remote or push button start inside. So if the battery on the RV was dead, you could technically pull start it and fire it up to try and help get things running. Just in the lower corner here, you also have one of your side cameras. There's a camera on this side and a camera on the other side. So when you turn on your left or right turn signal, that will pop up an image on the screen inside, allowing you to help see what's going on beside you when you're turning. This was also ordered with the aluminum running boards down below, just to kind of help get you in and out of the RV. Built on the Ford E450 Super Duty chassis, 7.3 liter gas motor. You have a really nice heavy duty fiberglass front cap. Good size extended mirrors as well. But overall, pretty cool new Class C motorhome for the East to West family here. We are going to go back inside. I want to kind of go over a little bit of the cab area inside for you. And then we're going to also close up the RV. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're back up inside the brand new 2023 Intrada 2900 DS. And I just wanted to kind of go over this cab area with you a little bit here. So this particular unit was ordered with the swivel passenger and driver seat. You can option in one, the other, or neither, depending on how you want, and just go with standard seats if you want. But when you do get the swivel seats, they both will turn. You can see I turned one of them here so you could get an idea what it looks like turned. Now, when it's swiveled around, they do give you this little cushion that goes on top of the traditional seat to give you a little extra height so it's a little more comfortable to sit since it's close to the floor of the RV. And you could do the same thing if you choose to do the driver's seat that way as well. Now, kind of taking a look up here at our dash area. So you have a USB charger port over here, traditional 12 volt outlet here. 
You have another USB charger port, USB charger C port, hazard lights, your controls for your AC and your heat, fan speed, all that type of stuff. So you got traditional car stuff here. Stereo system also is your backup camera and your side cameras for your turn signals. We'll turn that on here. Just kind of show you what that actually looks like. We'll let that kind of do its thing here. Turn itself on. While that's doing that, you have your traditional Ford steering wheel here. You do have your cruise control and stuff over there. Windshield wipers, turn signals, tow haul, your gear shifter, all that stuff. Kind of see a little bit of your gauge cluster there. Radio starting to fire up. Now we are going to see if we can hop down here in the driver's seat. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can maybe see this a little better. And start this thing up. Now again, radio kind of goes through its little setup when you first get it. When I put this thing in reverse, it fires up the backup camera. If I'm driving down the road and I turn on my left turn signal, it puts a little camera on the left side on so I can see what's going on. And then same thing when I do the right turn signal, but I do have the entry door open, so it is actually blocking the view of the camera with the door open. But you kind of get the point on how it's supposed to work. Now, down over here, you do have a small glove box. Little cup holders and stuff here as well. Got your little sun visors, light up here. Little grab handle. You have power door locks and power windows. There are some little cubbies built into the doors as well. And when you're actually camping, there's a curtain that attaches to the little Velcro strips and kind of comes around and blocks off your cab windows and stuff to give you a little more privacy. All right, and we're going to head back around and close this thing up for you. We'll be right back closing her up. All right, we are back inside the brand new 2023 Entrada 2900 DS Class C motorhome here. And I want to show you what it looks like all closed up, get you an idea what you're going to deal with when you're driving down the road. So when you are ready to open or close your slide outs, you have to make sure the emergency brake is on and also have the key in accessory mode so that it basically allows it to power up. Also, when you go to open your awning, you got to make sure you have that uh, braking stuff on too for your awning so that your awning can't open up while you're driving down the road. But you're going to come back here to this little section area here. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, propane leak detector down here, furnace control, also AC control for the main AC, basically digital thermostat. You have slide button one, slide button two, the light switch for the driver's side docking light that was on the side, interior kitchen and living room light switches, Arctic pack for the 12 volt tank heaters, water pump, water heater on gas button, generator start stop button, hour meter. Also remember you have the keychain remote or a pull chain out front uh, to also do it manually in case the battery systems are dead. Propane gauge, battery gauge, fresh black, gray, all that type of stuff is located right here. 
Okay, so bringing in the slide, we are going to bring in the bed slide first. Pretty simple and easy. It just comes straight in and goes straight out. Very, very important to make sure there's obviously nothing in the way when you're bringing it in or out so you don't accidentally hurt something. But when it comes in, you still have room to come back here, lay down on the bed and sleep. So if you're stopping at a rest area or something like that, need to take a nap, you still have full access to walk back here and do so. Now again, that bed raises up so there is some storage under there. You can also get to that storage when you're outside. Other slide here. We're going to hit the button to bring that in. And the same thing here again, it's coming straight in, straight out. Very, very important to make sure that your floor is clean so you don't accidentally run something over and damage your floor. Now with this slide, I still have full access in here. So I've just closed up both slides and can still fully use this motorhome driving down the road, no problems. I come in here to rest area, do whatever I wanna do, stop at the grocery store, load my fridge, load my cabinets. So pretty darn functional, closed up. The slides are just giving you a little extra room the only thing you're not really able to get to fully would be your little dresser drawers down there. If you really had to, you could raise that bed up, get under there, and get to them. So I'm going to say this one's pretty much fully usable, closed up. And when you're ready to go back out, all you got to do again, hit that button, take it right on back out. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. will definitely save you a ton of money on a new RV if you're interested. Thanks again.